All right, are you ready for millions of people to flood into Arkansas this spring? We're less than four months away from the Great American Solar Eclipse. And right now, state leaders are getting ready to welcome in all the tourists. Yesterday, we told you about the Arkansas Department of Transportation study on where they expect the busiest areas are going to be. So we're taking a closer look now at that report tonight. Up to one and a half million people expected to travel from outside Arkansas into the state. Along with around 500,000 Arkansans who will travel to the path of totality for a grand total of 2 million people. Of course, they'll be hitting the road with heavy traffic all the way from I-49 in Fayetteville down to I-40 to Little Rock. According to a review from the most recent eclipse from 2017, up to 80% of those watching the eclipse left immediately after sunlight returned. That created big bottlenecks on the road. They expect the same thing to happen near the I-40, I-49 interchange there in Alma. They say extreme traffic expected from Alma to the Franklin County line. Other major roads expected to see heavy traffic include Highway 71, Highway 16, and I-540 and Highway 10. Dave Parker, though, with RDOT, says they are ready. I think we, our preparation, our discussions, everything have been, uh, uh, when, when you talk to other DOTs who've been through this, uh, they are, their response is you guys are way ahead on this. If you haven't seen the path of totality yet, here's how it's going to look. The sun shadow going to pass through Sebastian, Scott, Logan, and Johnson counties in our area. To avoid that traffic, RDOT says you need to plan right now. If you're driving to the path of totality, plan to stay a while so you can avoid the congestion. Work from home if you can. RDOT says the post-eclipse visitor rush will co coincide with the afternoon rush hour. Several school districts in the state have already announced closures the day of the eclipse to avoid that logistical nightmare. If you want to read the whole report, you can head to our website, 5newsonline.com. We've got a link to that report and a statewide map of expected travel backups.